Jesus said, but ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. And I'm thinking, Lord, I know most of these people are saved, and I, I, I believe that the majority of you are filled with the Holy Ghost. I, I know all of you don't have the Holy Ghost because um, we, we, we do falter a little bit. We get people good and saved, and they feel good, and they cry, and they weep, and they're sorry for their sins. But we, we since they feel so good, and since they come to church a lot, and since they, you know, get involved in, in auxiliaries and departments, we forget to tell them that really what they need is the Holy Ghost. And so I'm telling you tonight that everybody needs to make room for the Holy Ghost. We, in this day and time, we make room for a lot of stuff. My husband told me that day, you got to make some more room. Somebody gonna make some more room. You gonna make it, I'm gonna make it, because I love hats, I buy hats. I mean, I can wake up. I may not be feeling good, but if you tell me we're going hat shopping, I, 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 I get relief. <laughs> so he said we got to make some room for these hats. We make room for a lot of things. We make rooms for clothes, ladies, because we said, oh, I got these children. We running out of closet space. So we build more closets because we making room for what we need in our natural lives. We even build more rooms on our houses when we have children and we say, well, it, it costs too much maybe to just go outright buy a new house, so let's make room, let's build another room so everybody can have their own bedroom in, in this day and time. You know, when we were growing up, everybody didn't have their own bedroom, but now they do, so we build rooms. We even buy bigger cars. We say, oh, I got more children. We don't need to make room for everybody because now it's my grandchildren. So we might go buy an SUV or a van so that everybody can get in there and we can ride together as a family because we're making room for what we need. Yeah. When you make room, then when you, when, when, that's an action word. That means that something has to shift. Yes. Something has to be put forth that's just a little bit different than what you already have. When you make room for something, you got to make an effort <coughs> to put what belongs in the room that you made. you got to get everything moved over there. Right. Right. And so I'm telling you, I know the majority of us have the Holy Ghost. I really believe that we do, but we need to make room for a refreshing. Yeah. We need to make room for the Holy we have salvation and sometimes we think that's enough because we cry and, and, and we weep and we tell God I'm sorry and he saves us and we think that's enough. But how many of you know that just because you build the closet for your extra clothes that the clothes won't get over to the room you built until you get up? Either you or somebody else has to move all your extra clothes over there. So you may have the room, but if you don't make an effort to move the extra clothes over there, it's just an empty room. Right. 
election officials need yeah. the Holy Ghost. And really, I, I, I'm really serious about this. We put people over our children because we think the sunshine man and, and the purity are just a lot of activities that we have to have every week to keep the kids going. But I, I even in Kansas Southwest, I really do challenge you make a year. So she turned, she said, are you ready to give that up? I said, yes. Right. And she said, why? I said, because the Holy Ghost told her. The Holy Ghost. We 